Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'll be showing you a few new plants that I just purchased, as well as a new piece of decor that I have in my plant room. So the first plant that I wanted to share with you is this beautiful Aglaonema Frosted Ghost. I purchased it from Lowe's and I've had one of these before, but it didn't do as well because when I purchased it, it was full of water and I was kind of hesitant about buying it, but it was so beautiful that I ended up buying it anyway and it died shortly after from root rot. But when I saw this at Lowe's recently, I just had to get another one. This one is super full. There's two plants in the pot. The scientific name for this plant is Aglaonema ghost. It also goes by Chinese evergreen ghost and Aglaonema frosted ghost. This plant has attractive gray green foliage and it's super easy to care for. Like other Aglaonemas, you should water it well, then allow the soil to dry out a little between watering. The soil should be dry before watering again. This plant will grow in low light situations, but prefer brighter indirect light conditions to look its best. I also got this really pretty desert rose. When I first got it, I had two of these flowers on it and somehow one of the flowers got broken off while I was still shopping, but look at all the buds right here and down here. So I can't wait for this thing to start blooming. The scientific name for this plant is Adenium obesum, also known as the Desert Rose. The Desert Rose looks like a bonsai and tolerates low water conditions with its thick swollen trunk that holds water during times of drought. This plant loves bright direct sunlight. The best part about this plant is it produces beautiful flowers in a variety of colors. This is a few varieties of desert roses that I saw on a recent trip to Lowe's. I thought this yellow one was so beautiful. They also had this pink and white one, an all white one, a deeper pink, and also a variegated variety. These were going for $24.98. I'm also about to repot these two golden goddess philodendrons. This one actually has a part that's Thai sunrise and most of the leaves have fallen off of this, but there's still a few pieces that are good. So I'm gonna try to salvage this, and this one's doing fine. Um, I'm gonna combine the two of these together since this one's pretty bare. There should be enough room in this pot. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start on that. Hopefully once I get this in some nice new soil, it'll start doing much better. The roots weren't actually all that bad. It definitely wasn't root bound, but the soil itself is just like really dry and compacted on the top. So I just tried to loosen all that up. All right, she's all potted up and ready to go. There's that part that has a Thai sunrise on it. If you look on the petiole, you can see this green stripe right down the center. And there's a new leaf coming out right there and it looks like it has green on it as well. But I'm really happy about the way this came out. This pot was a perfect size. What do you think, Ginger? Do you think that my plant looks good in that new pot? I also put my Refritifor Tetrasperma plant inside of this head planter. I thought it looked really cute in there. I also posted this on Instagram. Love this pot. 
I just put the nursery pot right inside of it because I don't have a drainage hole in this pot. So it works for now. I also got this new doormat from TJ Maxx. The last one that I had said spring on it and I didn't get one for the summer and I'm not quite ready for the fall yet. So I just got this one that didn't have any words on it. Let me know in the comments, are you ready for fall? Have you started buying fall items? Are you already decorating with fall items? Leave it down below. Another thing I bought for my plant room is this ultrasonic ceramic diffuser and it came with lavender essential oil. I just really like the print on it. There's an Albo Monstera leaf and flamingos and like some palm trees. That was really pretty. I got this from TJ Maxx. So the thing I like about this is that it runs by USB. I'm just going to plug it in right here on my flexi spot desk. Another thing that I bought were some more of these plant clips. I use these all the time when I'm staking up my plants. So I got these from Home Depot. Very, very handy. And you can see here where I use them on my Pink Princess to stake it up. smells so good. A company by the name of Evage, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but that is the name right there, reached out to me and asked me if I would be interested in trying their hanging glass planter with wooden stand. So this is actually like a propagation center that you can hang on the wall. And I told them, yes, I would be interested because I thought it was really nice. Um, I thought it would be a nice looking piece of decor in my new plant room. So it just came by Amazon and I opened up the outer box. So I'm going to get in and open it up now to show you guys. It looks like there's two pieces in the box. This right here looks like the frame that you put the propagation bottles in. These are the propagation bottles. I like that they have each of these bottles individually wrapped because they are glass and it protects them from shattering. They also send you like this aquarium gravel for decor and you also get these little fairy lights. It also comes with a little brush that you can use to clean out the propagation bottles. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue to open all these up and get it set up on the wall. So I just hung it up and that's where it is located next to the window. I'm just gonna go ahead and open up these gravel rocks now and start putting them into the propagation bottles. I went ahead and I filled up seven of the bottles and I'm just gonna fill them up with water. I didn't wanna put too much of the gravel in each one because there's 21 propagation bottles and I wanna make sure that I have enough. So when I see how much I have left, if I need to add more, then I'll do so. But right now I'm just gonna go ahead and add some water. So the bottom row is all in. I'm gonna be cutting parts of this golden pothos off so I already cut this part off right here and I'm just gonna chop it underneath the nodes. So I'll probably chop this up in a few pieces. I also have this Monstera Adansonii cutting. So I got all the bottles up there. I filled them up with the gravel and some water and I already started putting some of the cuttings in. 
This Marble Queen Pothos had one string of leaves that was trailing down really far and I had been wanting to cut that for a while now. So I went ahead and I chopped a few pieces of that off and I'm gonna add this to the propagation wall as well. There's a node right there on the bottom. I think I'm gonna chop off some of this Hartley philodendron also. These leaves here on the bottom are kind of small and leggy. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop up to probably here. I also think I'm gonna cut a piece of this Syndapsis pictus argyreus. Some of the pieces are kind of leggy on the right. Like this piece on the end right here, you see how leggy it is? This is the node on that one. And this is the node on this one, but I just wanted a little extra space to be able to place it into the bottle. So I cut it a little further down. So I left quite a few of the bottles empty because I'm gonna leave space for more propagations in the future. But this is what it's looking like right now. I love it, I think it's so cute. This is what it looks like with the little fairy lights on it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and share for more plant-related videos. Until next time, thank you so much for watching and take care.